this car next to me is the motor beams project car however while buying this car or should i say while filtering through i to check for three things interior exterior and the paperwork so i want you guys to tell me what should we be doing with this car Hello guys, so I am with Mr. Rohit over here. This is Precision Auto Works, his workplace. He's a very good friend of ours and he's helped Motor Beam a lot. They brought our uh, car, the Baleno over here for a quick check because I was not so sure. Uh, he took it out for a test drive and uh, tell me what do you feel about the car. It's a 2006 old, really old car, sir. So, considering the age and the way it is maintained, the car is really good. What we'll do is we'll just check the normal things like the engine oil and if there are any engine oil leakages. The suspensions and the brakes and the bearings, these are the normal wear and tear points. Something that we should be worried? We plan here, but maybe you know it increases after that. Pull up first to clean it, and then start to clean it. 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 So as you can see the car is up on the ramp and with the first look we have found out there's a little amount of oil leakage in the, near the base plate. Does not make sense to do an oil change so we're gonna clean it up, do a run-in of the engine and see how much the oil is leaking, if that can be fixed. We require an oil change. So my initial experience with the car was that I really love the car. When I had gone to see the car from the seller, I had taken a test drive also. And I believed that the car was in a pitch perfect condition. But then Mr. Roy took a test drive and he told me the car will be good as new. He made me go through each and every process that we should do while checking a car. He got the throttle bodies checked, he got the coolant checked, engine oil checked, the brakes checked, suspension checked, the steering column. Each and everything required some or the other kind of tune-up. The car did not have a service since a long time and he showed me that there were carbon deposits inside the engine bay. But you do not, do not feel it when you are You cannot it. feel anything. You only feel when the oil gets completely drained and the engine will change. Okay. That is the only time you will understand. So there were a few specific issues like the coolant was brown in color and it was just water. Basically the coolant wasn't changed from a long time and it had rusting issues in there. The entire rust in your cooling line is coming here in this tank. Okay. There is a chemical that we add in it. Uh -huh. Then the entire pura chemical pura engine ke andar uh -huh. and then you know it will remove all the sediments and everything that is you know, kept in that. Okay. And pura ka pura ek saath, we'll flush out first and then we'll add a new coolant and the water. Okay. If you add more coolant then also it is a problem. If you add less coolant then also it is a problem. You have to first read how much coolant and water we should need. The air box, the manifold, intake manifold had oil deposit which shouldn't be happening. For a diesel car there are possibilities but this one's a petrol, not a chance here. We 
Maybe Poland can also leave Poland. These are the Poland mugs. The Poland comes here and the water gets evaporated and the only thing that is left is this one. As you can see, the brakes are being rectified too as the calipers had jammed. And that is the reason I had a wooden feel on the pedal. All in all, I can say is always have a second opinion and probably if possible, buy a professional because these vehicles are old and there are issues that a normal, regular driver who drives these cars every day, even your seller won't realize. But then, a professional touch will always be helpful. This baby is serviced and now ready to be reviewed. I guess it's time to hand over to the car guys. It will be time for them to bow down because this is the best choice. Finally you guys are here. Yeah. And why are we here? To review this baby, yaar. it's finally ready. You got it serviced properly? No yes. issue with the car, I yes. hope. Yes, you won't find a single issue. And what Go. if there's an issue? Take a spin. Uh, let's see. You'll see. <coughs> oh God, this stinks. <laughs> Daniel, the guy is stinking yeah. a lot. This I think is you only drive. drive. You only drive. This is like your uh, welcoming present. This is an air <laughs> Daniel, get the car detailed first, then get it to us. You did not smell it or what? It was fine. The I rear was worse than the front, by the way. I, I do not sit behind that one. So now you have a job. Get this cleaned properly and. Do you, do you guys need anything else? Get it properly detailed and vacuumed so the stink it goes away. It should not smell. You take your girlfriend or boyfriend in the car. If they don't dump you, then call us. Cool, let, let us go. know when the guy is ready. So now yeah, I guess... One more job. Yeah. Do it properly. I'll make sure I'll, I'll do what that. What does he do, I'll man? see you. He's crazy. He's new, it doesn't work. Hello guys, once again. So everybody liked the Baleno, but then they had one problem. The car was dirty from the inside. So I've come to a friend's place to get it clean now. Let's see what it's all about. Hi Deepak. Hi. So he owns the clean touch detailing store over here in Thane and he's our motor beam partner. Uh, he's one from the motor beam partner store actually. And so Deepak, you just saw the car outside. We just did a foam wash. Yeah. The detailed foam wash that you said. Uh -huh. So what else are we gonna do now? So basically according to the condition of the car, yeah. Uh, so I feel that it needs a bit of polishing okay. and a salt deposit removal for the exterior part. Okay. Because uh, the car is not even in a very good shape. And we have already done the foam wash, the we will be proceeding with the salt deposit removal and uh, advanced step polish. Okay. And uh, for the interiors... That is the main thing because it is smelling a little, yeah. So what we can do is, we can go for advanced cleaning in the interiors. Okay. So we will start with the headliner rooftop cleaning. Okay. And it will be used, done with the foam. Okay. okay. Or headliner will be cleaned with the foam. Okay. And then the upholstery, as it is a fabric upholstery, we need to get it done with the foam extractor and the foam. Okay. So basically we will extract the dirt out from the seats. So there is more foam here? Yeah, everything is foam. When okay. you go for advanced cleaning, more of a foam is used in all the treatments. Okay. Okay. Yeah. For the doors and the dashboard also we will do the thorough cleaning. Okay. And uh, then we have uh, for the AC vents, they are dirty so we can go for the AC sanitization. Okay. Uh, there will be steam cleaning of the AC vents and the deep fogger section. Okay. Understood. And for the floor also, we can go for advanced scrubbing of the floor with okay. the machinery. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So I guess we should get started now. Yeah, okay. definitely. Yes.
So Deepak, all I can say now, the car is completely detailed. It looks very beautiful yes. now. So what does this thing actually cost in total? Uh, basically, the interior detail. After getting the car detailed and chaka chuck from inside and outside, it was time for billing. Based on the condition of the car, we did the interior, foam base extraction, and AC sanitization, which costed three thousand rupees. For the exterior, we did complete detailing with salt deposit removal and engine bay cleanup for four thousand rupees. Thank you, Deepak and Clean Touch. Now the car is back in its formal glory. I guess it's time to hand it over to the guys who are going to review it. So watch out this space for the next episode. Hi guys and welcome to Motor Beans. ये तो दोनों पैर से चलाने पड़ेगी हमें